All right, guys, it's just early enough to get a first cup of coffee in us. We're about to head over to basically a pier. This is a pretty exciting day. Hopefully, we'll be returning today with a 1950 John Deere, or John Deere. Oh, my God, I already screwed this up. I'm not going to edit the edge. I'm not going to take that out because that's funny. Uh, Farmall M sitting right there in awesome condition. I'm really excited. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go pick it up. And uh, the old girl is going to be doing light work. We'll probably have what's trailer weigh about 4,000 pounds. The uh, tractor weighs about five. So about 9,000 pounds. It's not very much. So we're going to go pick that up. And this will be the video of us going to get it. So I'm pretty excited. And this is kind of the first time for me doing a pickup and delivery of a new toy for the channel in this manner. So I'm pretty excited to do a, a video in this format. So stick around and see if you like it. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Well, we got the old girl loaded. We decided to take the rake at the same time we were here to save another trip. So that means we had to shove the tractor real far forward, which means she's got a little squat to her, but that's okay. We'll be just fine. Looks like looks like the trailer suspension's telling us with that little tie bar that we're, we're not too bad. We don't have that much weight for it. Should be good to go. So this is the 1950 Farmall M. I just snagged. The only thing that we're really missing is the um, the pulley for the dry belt. I was kind of thinking it might be cool because I don't own any dry belt equipment. I think a hydraulic pump on there would be sweet to run a log skitter. So, or a log splitter, not a log skitter. Log splitter. But yeah, this is the old girl. She's got a pretty nice bit of sheet metal. She looks pretty good. That could be an aftermarket sticker. I'm not sure. That could be a replacement sticker. And ignore our, our strap job. We wanted to be overkill. Doesn't hurt anything. But she does run. She fires right up, drives right up. These might be old, but they are holding air, so should be good to go. So, yeah, I'm pretty jazzed about that. Our first bit of hay equipment for the farm. We'll be making hay with the farm all, and we'll be using this rake. We may try and snag a tether at some point, but this is a for good first start. Now we got to get home safely. So we'll tune in to you guys later. Well, this has been pretty uneventful. I've learned that this truck should just be trusted, even when you have the trailer unloaded or loaded in a way that may not be perfect. Uh, this is a no-handed driver. It's amazing how smooth this truck drives, even with the trailer. You know, we've got the tractor at the very front of the trailer because we had to fit the rake. So uh, not ideal, granted, but... It is totally stable, no issues at all. And I could go 55, but I don't really have any, I'm, I'm in no rush. So, you know, a couple mile an hour doesn't really make a difference. And where I live, people kind of, either people go 75 or they go 50 or somewhere in the middle. So it's kind of all, it's all made up along the way. So these new 23s really tow well.